I came up here to do this live stream in my bedroom because the dog was barking like a lunatic at the leaves. He's so protective over me, it's not even funny. If anything moves in that garden, he goes absolutely crazy. And if somebody passes by the front of his garden, <laughs> you better watch out. That's all I know. But he's after following me up here now and he's lying on the bed. So if he starts barking, lads, I strenuously apologise. Right, this is the story. I wanted to update you about Warrior Women last week and Ruby Wax, okay? My feet haven't touched the ground since last Monday evening. I always knew it was going to be brilliant. I just didn't realise how brilliant it was going to be. It was a very unusual situation for me to be in because it was such an intimate gig and I didn't know anybody at the table, bar one. There was one of them who was part of the private members group for I Am Positive Mindset. But the nine other people I had never met before. Lots of them were followers of the page. I knew their names, just didn't know their faces. So uh, yeah, I was out of my comfort zone too. But it was amazing. And right at the very end of the evening, we were all going home. I realised who was sitting to my right. Uh, a girl by the name of Becky Hand, who doesn't really spend that much time on Facebook and actually hadn't discovered me on Facebook at all. How she had found me was she was randomly listening to LMFM one day when Jerry was on interviewing me over something or other. And uh, she heard me that way. And that was how she she discovered uh, me and Warrior Women. So it was a great eclectic bunch of amazing women. And what I wanted to do was was just read to you one or two pieces of feedback uh, to see what you think. So one of the girls, they all filled in uh, feedback forms that evening. But some of them then privately emailed me the following day just to let me know what they thought. So this is what it says. So here goes. I attended Nicholas Warrior Women on Monday night along with 10 other amazing ladies. It was so nice to sit and mix with other ladies who are wanting to better themselves and their lives. As we sat around and started to engage in the topics around the table, it made us realise we are all more alike than we are different. I'm always saying that, lads. Everybody thinks they're struggling on their own and that's only because you leave yourself alone. However, we are more similar than we are different. Uh, we all face a lot of the same struggles, self-worth, belief, self-esteem, etc. It was such a safe place for us all to open up and just be who we are without judgment, which was an amazing feeling. Both of those things are paramount to anything that I put my hand to, is that it is a safe place for you to fall and that there's, there's zero judgment in any of the spaces that I'm in. A lot of buttons were pressed for me on Monday night like I'm sure it was for most of us ladies. Nicola, who I have been following now for at least a year, gives us tools to set our boundaries and to let go of things that don't serve us anymore in our lives. For me, guilt for the last two years played a big part in my life due to making a decision to walk away with my two young children from my 10 year marriage that was no longer serving me. Very, very brave lady. This guilt, has laid very heavy on my chest at times and really felt I haven't been breathing, if that makes sense, until Monday night. On the way home, she had a huge shift, by the way. On the way home, I took into a fit of coughing, like deep coughing, which might sound silly to some people, but hand on my heart after I felt like the weight off my chest lift. I felt like I was actually breathing as it felt like my lungs were breathing in really fresh air. I could take deep breaths. It just felt amazing and weird after what I had just spoken to in the group with the ladies. It was a massive release of emotions for me. I hope that makes sense to the people who get what it is I'm trying to say. I'm actually emotionally emotional writing this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Nicola, for Warrior Women, you're helping so many of us ladies realise just how bloody amazing we really are. Now, that's fantastic feedback. And um, delighted that that girl got that shift. And all that coughing was basically a release of emotion. And I just know, um, I trained as a Reiki master donkeys years ago. And um, that would be, for me, a release of energy. And, um, you know, I've been speaking to that girl since and she's doing really, really well. So I'm really, really pleased about that. Now, do I have time? Will I, will I read out another one? Right, here's another one. I posted this actually the other day. Hi, Nicola. Apologies for taking so long to reply to you. I've just been trying to find the time to actually sit down and give the reply the time and thought it's so, it is so deserving of. 
Firstly, thank you. What an amazing, touching, inspirational evening. Absolutely mind-blowing from start to finish. Nicola, you're an absolute ball of positive energy. Thank you very, very much. I'll accept that compliment very graciously. I walked out of that building thinking, I want to be that girl. You be more like you. That's all you need to do. You alone have given me the drive and the know to change my whole train of thought in my everyday life, which will in turn change my life for the better. Each and every other person in the group were truly amazing too. Such touching stories and crucial advice that I will keep with me along this journey. Listen to them all just made me realise everyone struggles sometimes. No matter how big or small the problem is, all we need to do is be encouraged and guided through it in the same way. Hashtag positivity. So listen, that was just two of the people who were in the room on the night. And we have another 10 women coming this evening who I don't know. And it is going to be amazing. Um, I had torches, you know, fire outside. We had the red carpet. So I'm hoping that the weather improves so I can do all that again for my um, my next 10 warrior women. Now, to fill you all in. Oh, by the way, I'm doing one more warrior women on the 20th. That will be the last one of this year, okay? So if you're interested in joining us on the 20th, PM me and I'll let you know if there's space left, okay? There's space left right now. So, you know that I adore Ruby Wax and Ruby Wax was doing a gig five minutes in the TLT from where I was last Monday night and I literally was heartbroken that I couldn't go to see her. I loved her when she was doing just purely comedy because she was just out there. She was purely herself in the raw, no filter whatsoever. And she was discussing things that, you know, most people weren't, wasn't discussing at the, weren't discussing at the time. So this was somebody for me to aspire to in the 80s, yeah? She was the only kind of real female positive role model that I had access to through the TV, right? BBC, it's the only place she was allowed, and Channel 4. So, Janice Viscardi had a brilliant idea. Janice Viscardi used to work in the Olympia years ago. She knows how to be dealing with the likes of Ruby Wax and, and celebrities similar to her, right? So Janice said, why don't you um, design a really nice bunch of flowers and send it up to her with a note? Because I've been hashtagging her all week and I know she's brilliant on Twitter. So I went over to Southgate Flowers here and they're always amazing. They always do, the, do me the most amazing flowers. So I designed it with them. And they really were spectacular. They were small, but they were spectacular because I knew that, you know, she's touring. She's not going to be able to carry big stuff around with her. So um, I had one of the I am positive mindset cards and I wrote her a note and I was just saying to her, you know, she got me through some really dark times in the 80s when I was really young. Um, but I'm doing really well now and I'm empowering other women to do the same. And da -da 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 -da. so that was fine. And the flowers were gorgeous with the I am cards sitting in the center. They were amazing. So Janice was going to the gig anyway. And the fact now that Ruby Wax is doing all this mental health awareness stuff, you know, it just blows me mind that, not that we are on similar paths, but not at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Like I get her. We're, we're doing similar work, but just in a, on a different platform. So Janice goes to the gig and is loving it, lapping it up. And when it comes to the interval, I had told the girls around the table that I was hoping Ruby Wax was going to turn up because we were all hashtagging her all week. So Janice, the phone rings and it was like everybody at the table was like, oh my God, Janice is ringing. So put her on speaker. And it was only the interval I thought the gig was finished. And Janice was after going and buying us her book. And when uh, Janice asked her to sign it, she, uh, she signed it to I Am Positive Mindset. So she sent it to the company, okay? So I'm delighted about that. And the book is amazing, lads. You just have to, you just have to, have to buy it. It's just fantastic. So Janice approached Ruby and says, Ruby, I'm not going to even try, get, going to even try a Ruby Wax accent, but Janice is brilliant at it. I'm, I'm raging she's not here with me to do this. So uh, Janice says, Ruby, did you get your flowers? And Ruby Wax says, was that you who sent me those flowers? And Janice says, no, but it was my colleague, Nicola. And uh, she had read the card. Obviously, she'd read the card and she said, is she doing OK? And Janice says, yeah, she's doing amazing. So Janice was able to tell her what we were doing with Warrior Women and the impact that we were making. And she thought that this was a bloody brilliant idea. And Janice says, do you think you're going to be able to pop down after? And Ruby said, I would love to. However, I am actually catching a flight but the next time that I'm here, I might just try and hook up with her. So that was like, ah. Oh. Now listen, she could be just saying that, but Ruby Wax has done crazy ass stuff, lads, where she has actually done stuff like this. So the story is, is that uh, I'm actually going to tag her in this video. I'll send it to her and uh, 
Janice is like a dog with a bone when it comes to getting through to people. So if anybody can get through to Ruby Wax, Janice Viscardi can. So listen, this is the gig. I just wanted to give you an update. I feel like I haven't been on the page properly doing live streams for a long time and I'm going to I'm going to remedy that. Um, come to Warrior Women, our last Warrior Women on the 20th. Buy Ruby Wax's book because it is brilliant. You know the way I always say, and I'm claiming this statement, you know the way I always say I bring practicality to spirituality? Well, do you know what? She kind of does the same herself. So listen, that's all the news I have for the moment, lads. And uh, see you all on the page soon. Take it easy. Slow.